Hey, what's up guys? Fifth Jaguar Flyover here and today I'm going to teach you how to force a card using the Rifle Force. This is a really easy force. As long as you know how to riffle down the side like this, it's pretty simple. So this is what it looks like. I'll do it once. Three of hearts goes in the... Um, I mean, let's say you're forcing the three of hearts. All I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the spectator to um, stop whenever I'm refilling and then let's say they say stop right here. If I cut to it, three of hearts is what the card they've cut to, okay? So that's pretty much what it would look like at a performance speed. Now the tutorial, um, let's use a blue back to make it a lot easier for you guys to follow. Let's use the six of hearts. So let's say you get whatever, so what you want to do is but if you're forcing a card, you want the card that you're forcing at the very top. Or if you're not and you're trying to do mentalist kind of effect and you try, you're you trying to guess their card, you just take a look at the very bottom card really quick. You can either do it that way or just like do that way or just use your thumb to riffle one card. Do whatever you want. Do what you got to do to get to know what the top card is. From there, in this case, it's the six of hearts. You're just going to hold it in a mechanics grip, swing cut, and get a pinky break on this card, right? It's I'm exaggerating quite a bit, but you're just going to get a pinky break like this, okay? So you have a packet, and then their card, and a packet, and all um, between that is a pinky break, like so. And then at the front, try to cover it up. By having a smaller pinky break at the back, you can cover it up, cover it up quite, quite a lot. And from here, you're going to still hold it in mechanics grip and tell the spectator to stop whenever they want. And let's say they stop above the pinky break. You're just going to grab all the packets, right? This is where they stopped, right here. But this is where you want them to cut to. So it's fine. You just, when they cut, um, when they, I'm sorry, when they say stop here, you're just going to release all things from the riffle. At the same time, you're going to cut down like this. Cut it down like this. This gives them the illusion that you've just cut to the riffle. And then you just bring it up, and this is a six of hearts. Now let's say they cut below the riffle where they stopped. So they say somewhere below right there. It's totally fine. You, it's the same thing pretty much. So that's where you want to cut to, but this is where they cut to. So this is what you do. You tell them, okay. So you just, at the same time you're releasing the riffle, you're going to cut down like so. Pretty simple, right? But let's say um, the spectator is kind of an ass, and then he tells you to stop on the very top card or at the very bottom card. What do you do? Then um, you can do one of those, one of the two things. You can either. I'm trying to think. Um, I normally avoid this. I, I try to avoid this situation because um, I would normally say, okay, I want you to tell me to stop somewhere in the middle so that I can use this force. But let's say they're being really childish and they want the top card or the very bottom card. You know what? Just do this trick later and do a different trick involving that, right? Let's say this is a card. It's really easy. Just get it lost, right? And then you say, okay, so your card is not at the top right now or at the bottom, but if I give it a little flick, it changes to your card. Like do a simple trick right away and then do what you wanted to do, like the forcing card right after. It's totally fine. You, you'll always have a backup plan and that's my backup plan. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's quite easy, but it's really effective, really fast. That's why I love it. It's simple, effective. I feel like sometimes the most magical moments happen when the trick is super simple and really quick but it has an amazing effect so that's the tutorial guys thanks for watching to the end i will see you next time and please leave a like and a subscribe that will be great peace